Hey y'all, it's Beer Thirsty. Today's gonna be a What's All video and it starts right now. All right, guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Julian, also known as the Bearded Thurper Machine here on YouTube, and I buy stuff and flip it online for a living and make YouTube videos about it. So today, what we're going to do is go over 20 what sold for me in the last couple of days. It's going to all be on eBay. What I'm going to do is tell you how much I basically have in the item and how long it took to actually sell. If you're new to the channel, I do have other videos like haul videos and the day in the life of a full-time eBay reseller. So if you would, go back and watch a couple of those if you like them. Subscribe to the channel, like the video that you're watching. Also, give me a comment. Tell me what you liked about it, what you didn't like, or comment something on there. It helps the channel out a lot, so I do appreciate it. So let's go ahead and get started on the first items here, which are going to be some Christmas Food Network Tall Slender Holiday Coffee Mugs. These right here, not the best, by the, but I did make about 10 bucks on them because I only spent 50 cents on them about eight months ago at a, uh, a Goodwill. And they sold for $12, and the buyer did pay shipping, so definitely a long tail item there. They were really cool looking, thought they would sell around Christmas, but they didn't. Uh, so not like the best pickup, but 10 bucks is 10 bucks. This one right here is an Onkyo DRS 2.2 DVD CD home theater receiver with digital input with a remote. Did, uh, did go for $75 and the buyer did pay shipping. I got this for about $10 at a Goodwill. Maybe it was $10 to $15 um, at a Goodwill a while back, about two months. Somebody actually said they were going to buy it and I kind of held it for them and they never actually came through on that deal. So I put it back up on eBay and sold probably within a week after I did that. My biggest thing on these for beginners or even people that aren't beginners it's definitely if you are scared about shipping these pack it first weigh it and then get the measurements right because these things teeter totter on like the uh oversized package and not so oversized package so definitely if you are worried about that i would pack this first get the measurements right put it in on ebay so you don't overpay for shipping this one right here is a momentous golf swing trainer left-handed men's 40 ounce club this one right here is a uh, it's weighted that's why I have the weight in there so if you're at the thrift store or something and you pick up a club and it's super heavy most likely that's gonna be a swing trainer which do go for decent money like this one went for $25 and the buyer did pay ship and I have three dollars in that it took about two months to sell probably because it was a left-handed club but swing trainers any type of swing trainer uh, usually goes for a decent amount of money on eBay this one right here is a hook fishing stretch baseball cap got this at the bins up in north carolina when me and my girlfriend went up there thrifting and i uh, did go for 15 dollars on the buyer to pay ship and this is a very expensive brand new this is the stuff that i try to buy to go fishing in just because it looks really cool and it's comfortable and all that stuff so if you find this used definitely pick it up you can get it for a good price because it does sell very quick and the resale value really doesn't go down too much because 15 bucks for a used tag is pretty good in my book this one right here is an E-Force racket. This is an X-150 tri-carbon with the uh, frame. 22 inch, but it needed a grip, but it did come with the case. And I, this one's over $40 plus shipping. Now, if you watch my other wood sold a couple of days ago, I had another E4 selling go for $18. The most important thing about these rackets, I've sold like quite a few in the last you know week or so, is you need to type in everything on the racket to figure out exactly what racket is. Because some go for $18 and I've had some sell all the way up in the hundreds. So make sure you do that when you're comping out these rackets. These right here are some Bose Quiet Comfort 25 noise canceling headphones. Uh, and they were missing the AUX like little adapter thing. And I've obviously put that in the description, in the title, and I took a picture of it. So hopefully they actually saw that I was missing it. But these did go very quick for $50 and the buyer did pay shipping. I have $2 in these, most likely $2 because I bought them at the bins about the weight. So uh, these were in super good condition though. After I cleaned them up, all the marks came off of them. Really, really good condition. Bose is always a good brand to resell. This one right here is a new vintage 1990s Marlboro fanny pack. I like this just because it still had the water bottle like in the plastic. So I was like, this is totally cool. And this is one of those just old Marlboro stuff. I usually always find these and mo sometimes they're new, but they always sell. And this one sold for $25 and the buyer did pay shipping. I have $4 in that at a Goodwill only about three weeks ago. So definitely a good pickup there. These I also got at the bins for a dollar a club. So only $9 invested in this. And these were some Ping Eye 2 black dots. This was a two through uh, pitching wedge with usually it's a three through pitching wedge. So I had an extra club in there and they had the ZZ light steel. And these were left-handed clubs. These were in immaculate condition. That's why I priced them at $199 with shipping and a person paid that immediately almost. It only took about a week to sell. So $199 plus ship in there and uh, Ping, obviously a really good brand to look out for if it's a golf. It's one of the, my favorite brands to pick up, but the Ping I2s on single clubs still sell, but Ping I2 uh, like sets sell really fast and really really well on ebay this one right here is gonna be a callaway big bertha s2 h2 
fair wood. This is just the head cover. It was purple. This is a very old head cover. It was a really good condition. I have about 50 cents in this. Took about a month or two to sell and I got $8.99 plus shipping. I always say head covers are, they're great for me because they're easy to ship, easy to list. I love them and you usually make about, you know, eight, 10 bucks on them or something. So you gotta buy them super cheap, but they always sell on eBay for the right ones. Uh, this is a Hanes, like, uh, sweatpants for women i would never usually sell buy this to resell but this came in a huge bulk buy and when i was going through you always got to try to sell as much as you can to get your money back so i have pennies into this and they end up selling for uh, eleven dollars and fifty cents and the buyer did pay shipping there and i got that again a huge bulk buy on a closet months and months and months ago but that's a new item so with pennies into it i'm always going to put that up online because it is a name brand sort of hanes and uh you know new sweatpants and it was a smaller size so definitely a hard sell but made about 10 bucks on it so that's not too bad this one right here is going to be some an apple magic trackpad this is the model a1339 wireless it did work and everything and so for 35 dollars and the buyer did pay shipping and i probably have about 10 dollars in this at an auction I only took about it actually only took like hours to sell, but I held it for a while because I had some other stuff that I had to list. Um, so I had it for like two or three weeks, but it only took a couple hours to sell once I actually listed it. This one right here is gonna be King Cobra 2 Oversized Stiff Flex Gap Wedge, right-handed steel shaft. This went for $32 and the buyer did pay ship and I have $3 of this at a Goodwill. And this is super important when you're comping out golf clubs to put, uh, as you can see there, it says King Cobra then has the numeric number two next to it or the Roman numeral number two. That's super important that you put on there when you comp out these because there are King Cobras that aren't twos. So definitely type in, I always say type in everything on the head of the club so you find the right one, you can get the most money for that club or you don't comp out the wrong club thinking it's worth more than it is then get it home and realize it's worth nothing this right here these massagers this one right here is a pa1 i always find these and they always sell almost immediately if you price them correctly i have five dollars in this at a goodwill and so for 25 dollars and the buyer did pay shipping this one right here did not have the heat in it uh there are ones that have heat that go for more money but these are always a big bolo for me i always usually find them twice a month at my goodwills and they always sell almost within the day because that one sold within a couple hours of me posting it these right here are some TaylorMade RPZ hats. I linked these together as a lot because they were the same size and they were a different style. So I thought maybe somebody would want two hats almost for the price of one uh, because shipping really doesn't go up when you ship two hats or one hat. So this one did go for $19 and the buyer did pay ship and I have nothing into that. Pretty sure this came out of my storage locker a really long time ago. So if you haven't watched that video, I'll actually link it down below. It's my only storage locker I've ever done. I'm trying to buy more. They just go for super high around my area, but I'm trying to get another storage locker, hopefully soon but if you haven't watched that that was a good video so go go uh, check it out and i'll link it down in the description this one right here is a microsoft xbox 360 s console only so it had the console and the actual uh power cord and it did go for 55 dollars and the buyer did pay shipping this also had the original box so that's pretty good and uh it did only take about a week to sell and this was in immaculate condition super good looking xbox and that's why i think it went so fast for a decent price i have very little into that maybe about five dollars from a huge bulk buy i did the other day on video games so definitely a good buy there this mika new zealand aztec print fleece jacket this was a small extra small did go for uh twenty dollars the buyer did pay shipping this was super cool had some nice print on it and everything and uh extra smalls though are always a hard sell for me usually if it's a large extra large triple xl they sell a lot faster than the little uh you know extra smalls and smalls but i'm pretty happy with that return took only about four months to sell this yarn the yarn is still like a pain in my side i still have yarn left if you watch my channel at all you realize that like a while back i bought a whole bunch of yarn and basically i overpaid for it but these did go for ten dollars and ninety cents and the buyer did pay shipping uh this probably makes me break even on that yarn and that's enough said about that this is a King Cobra oversized three iron head only right handed club. If you watched my video a little bit ago, this was me taking the head of the club off. This is actually that club and I said it usually goes for about $10. I sent a person an offer for eight, they paid it. And uh, so without trashing the entire club, if the, you know, if it's a good head of the club or a good value head, like it's a ping or, or something like that, and the, uh, and the shaft is messed up, you can actually remove the head from the shaft and sell the head on eBay. And they just think it's a lot easier to ship just the head than the whole club. So you make some money back and you don't have to ship a big golf club. It's a win-win for everybody. This Ping Tour 52 degree wedge regular shaft, it needed a grip. So always remember if they need grips, 
that is usually going to be about 10 to 15 dollars if not more depending on the grip they're going to put on this golf club to add to the actual price of the golf club so if you see one with a bad grip don't just discard it just make sure you comp it out then you have to like add money to it that the buyer is going to be in when they buy the club so they have to regrip it themselves so this ping went for 25 dollars and the buyer did pay ship and i have three dollars into that but that took probably about five months to sell this one right here is going to be a pen 4500SS Spin Fishing made in the United States. This is obviously for parts. As you see there, it's taken apart. I got this for free and it went for $30 and the buyer did pay shipping. These pen spin fishers, they're the ones with the gold, uh, like if you don't know fishing rods, but basically the thing that spins around, it's gold, uh, like a gold metal. And what you want to do is always pick these up if they're made in the United States, if you can get them for cheap. This one right here, if it was built, is usually worth about $75 to $100, depending exactly like the condition of it. Now, the old bait casters, some of them go for a lot of money, some of them don't go for so much. But any spin fisher made in the United States is a huge bolo. This one here is obviously going out for parts if you find one that's all kind of messed up that doesn't work but it has good parts on it some of those still parts go for like 10 to 20 to 30 dollars a piece depending on the part that you have so definitely a huge bolo for the pen spin fishers gold ones made in the united states so right there that's 20 wood sold for me in the last couple of days i do appreciate y'all watching hopefully you learned something hope you can go out there and find some of these items flip them for yourself and make some money so i appreciate it and you know i will always catch you on the next one